coverage of the heat continues and we turn now to Action News reporter Annie McCormick who is live along the Ben Franklin Parkway. And Annie, you're talking to people doing their best to beat the heat in the city. That's right, a very steamy Ben Franklin Parkway is where I'm at right now. Like Cecily said, we haven't hit a heat wave just yet, but it looks like we're getting closer. The city also has not enacted a heat health emergency just yet either. Drone 6 cut through the humid air to capture a hot Philadelphia day with temperatures above 90. Even William Penn needed a splash of water. Spray parks were packed with people today, and as vendors set up for tonight's Point Breeze night market, shade was key. We have a really cool spot because we are in the shade. We do have a fan that's going to give us some air when we need it. But right now, the wind is blowing. It feels really good. I'm getting ready to come get some of this lemonade that you drink. The heat. It's not too bad right now. Earlier it was because I, I went out to get lunch and it was really beaming. It wasn't too hot for the Sixers Sixers drum team and for foodies like Nyjah Banks, the hot temperatures didn't keep her inside. At first it did start to stop me, but I plugged my fan up and I got, got on going. It's really hot outside, you know, people ought to be careful, but it's always good to see like a bunch of people out and having a positive vibes and things like that. So I never want to miss that. Down the shore, this traffic showed how many left the cities and suburbs looking for relief on the beach. In Ocean City, clear skies made way for relief. It's been great. We've had like the best week. Maybe one little spotty rain shower, but that's it. Now, if the city does issue a heat health emergency, that does mean extended hours at cooling centers like at libraries and also pauses to utility shutoffs. But again, that hasn't happened, at least yet. For now, reporting live along the parkway, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Great and Shari. All right, Annie, thanks.